The Pepsodent Show, starring Bob Hope. Good evening to you folks. Hang up your hats and coats. Pull up a chair and shed your care. He's on the air, Bob Hope. Ah, thank you so much. Hello, here we go with our fun show. Wear a grin to get in through the wicket. Wear thereafter your laughter's your ticket. And smiles will last. A season's past. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Bob Hope, the fellow who helps make Tuesday nights such a swell night to go to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you folks for taking such an interest in the program. My fan mail has been so heavy these last few weeks that I had to get another cigar box. <laughs> well, Halloween is gone, and so is my house. <clears throat> Halloween is really for the kids. They have so much fun. They're so cute. <laughs> <clears throat> Angels with dirty soap. They came around. <laughs> They're marvelous, those kids. They come around to the house, and they send one kid up to the door the one without the axe, and the kid looks at you. <laughs> and the kid looks at you and says, treat or tricks. <laughs> then, they get, then you give them some cookies, and they take your cookies in your front porch and run away. <laughs> when they got through with my house, it looked like a testing ground for termites. <laughs> no kidding, I had a piece of every billboard from 10 miles around. <laughs> the first thing I saw when I stepped out of the house this morning was, 30 motion pictures every Thursday are your best community chest. <laughs> So vote now um, even, even this morning A kid came around And threw some garbage On my lawn I said, hey, what are you doing? He said, pardon me I forgot this last night <laughs> When I asked him Why I was throwing garbage He said, what do you think You throw at us Every Tuesday night? <laughs> but uh, enough of that I think we have A nice show here tonight That consists of The foremost singing comedian Of the motion picture world Miss Martha Ray And in the regular lineup We have Skinny Ennis And his band Six Hits and a Miss Jerry Colonna Through the courtesy Of Warner Brothers And Bob Hope Through the courtesy Of his landlord that's Bill Goodwin He gave a Halloween party last night 25 cent cover charge We, uh, we had a nice party at Bill's place Of course, his room is a little small <laughs> More of a closet that made good It was so small It was so small that Bill didn't have room for pumpkins So he cut faces and grapes <laughs> And he had a midget witch riding around the room on a toothbrush. <laughs> what a room. You've heard of sunken living rooms? Well, Bill's room has a sunken ceiling. <laughs> nice, but it got a little tiresome dancing around on our knees. <laughs> and the music was nice, too, but we ran out of nickels. <laughs> I used to tell that uh, joke in vaudeville with Fibber McGee. <laughs> you remember Fibber, huh? When you and I were young, McGee. But anyway, we, uh, at the party last night, we ran out of nickels. And of course, we played ducking for apples. I put my head in the tub and came up with Johnny Weismuller. Then to keep the party alive, we got in the tub and made the apples duck for us. <laughs> sort of an underwater Lambeth walk. <laughs> Bill won the prize for pinning the tail on the donkey. I don't know whether he peaked or whether he's a Democrat. <laughs> And all the girls came to the party with dresses that matched their boyfriend's hair. Kay Francis came with Jimmy Cagney, wore a red dress. Sonia Henney came with Jerome Power and wore a black dress. Jeanette McDonald came with Jean Raymond and wore a gold dress. And Gypsy Rosalie came with Guy Kibbe. Uh... <laughs> oh, it was a swell part. Bing Crosby that was there, he was dressed cute. His suit was so loud, the Ma Moors had, were wearing dark glasses. <laughs> Well, I finally got that out. <laughs> Marble mouth. And Jimmy Fiddler was there. <laughs> Jimmy Fiddler was there, too. By midnight, he was so sleepy, he could hardly keep his ears open. <laughs> Say, Bob, how, how did you like my Halloween party? Oh, fine, Bill. What hamburger stand did the catering? <laughs> you know, Bob, my girl thought you were made up as a spook. When you were eating, she said, boy, look at that goblin. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had fun, Bill Did you see me chasing Martha Ray around the room? Wasn't that a laugh? Yeah, Bob, that was one laugh after another <laughs> How'd you like the way I was dressed, Bill? Well, Bob, that was a novel idea Coming to the party in a suit made out of old insurance policies <laughs> Not so novel Every time I started dancing, two of them expired <laughs> Hello, fellas Hello, Skinny Hey, Bob, 
How'd you like that white sheet I put on for the party? Oh, that was fine, Skinny, but what was that big bulge in the back? Shucks, man. You wouldn't want me to wake my father up. <laughs> no, Skinny, but you didn't have to sit on him all night. There's only one fellow in this program who knows how to act at a party. Greetings, Skate. Let's celebrate. <laughs> I love parties, I love girls That is why my mustache curls <laughs> Take off your mask, Professor Halloween is over Ah, Halloween What merriment, what gaiety I spent the entire night stealing gates Gates <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Professor Why did you attend Goodwin's party With a frankfurter around your neck? Ah, yes I wanted to look Halloween-y <laughs> I get it, Professor Halloween-y Hot dog <laughs> Professor, yes. jokes like that can end my radio career. Mmm, goody. <laughs> One minute, I smell something smoking. Is it you, Professor? Ah, yes. I bought this suit at the fire sale, and it's still burning. <laughs> One of my quirks. I've always wanted a light suit. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you have a headache, Professor, doubt it. Quiet, Maeve. I passed four black cats on my way to the studio. They meowed at me, and I was awfully embarrassed. Well, Professor, why should that embarrass you? My mustache meowed back at them. Incidentally, Professor, how do you keep that mustache pressed so nicely? I sleep with my head between a book <laughs> You intrigue me, Professor Ah, Halloween How I recalled my first Halloween party We were ducking for ducks <laughs> For ducks? Yes, Gates They'd already eaten the apples <laughs> In my youth, I was afflicted uh, with a poor memory You handled that nicely when it was my turn to duck, I put my head under the water and forgot to take it out. Really? Days passed, autumn vanished into the winter, the water froze into a cake of ice, the ice company came out and chopped, chop, chop. <laughs> the next thing I knew, I was in an ice box. Time staggers on. I am now in a highball, balancing a cherry on my nose. <laughs> the end. A fellow drank me down. If a fella drank you down, what are you doing here? Ah, so you're wondering too? <laughs> and now, while the professor slips into his straitjacket, Skinny Ennis, our quivering baritone, sings heart and soul from the Paramount picture, A Song is Born. Take it, Skinny. Heart and soul, I fell in love with you. Heart and soul. The way a fool would do gladly I guess it serves me right To steal a kiss in the night Heart and soul I longed to find romance Saw my goal And took the fatal chance gladly There on that night we kissed There in the moon Oh, but your lips were thrilling much too thrilling Why in the world were they so Strangely willing Can't you see What one embrace can do Look at me It's got me loving you madly That little kiss I stole Cost me my heart and soul That little kiss I stole Cost me my heart and soul Would you like to try an interesting experiment? It really won't take more than a minute of your time. Just do this. After the broadcast tonight, stand squarely in front of a good-sized, well-lighted mirror. Next, put on your biggest and broadest smile. Yes, the very best smile in your repertoire. Then ask yourself these questions quite frankly. Am I proud of my smile? Is it bright and sparkling the way I want it to be? Is it a fetching, irresistible, magnetic sort of smile? Of course, I don't know what story your mirror will tell you, but if you're the least bit disappointed in the sparkle and gleam of your smile, I have a little tip for you. You really should try New Day Pepsodent Toothpaste or Powder containing irium. There's a combination that really does wonders for your smile. How? 
Well, you see, Arium is a marvelous new cleansing agent found in Pepsodent alone of all dentifrices, which helps Pepsodent to gently brush away unsightly surface stains from tooth enamel. With these masking surface stains gone, your teeth then reveal their full natural luster so that they shine and sparkle with all their glorious natural beauty. Furthermore, Pepsodent is safe in its action on teeth since it contains no grit, no pumice, no drugs. Start using Pepsodent containing irium right away, and in a short time, look in your mirror for the happy results.